Alright guys, got the head on, gasket in. Now I'm ready to torque it. Now I'll show you guys how we find torque spec on the Briggs engine. Now we know our model number is a 243431. There's a general specification or common specification chart in a Briggs book. We know we're on a cast iron engine, so we come down here to 243,000. We have a 243, 431 engine. We come on over here, middle column. Just cylinder head, inch pounds, come down 190 inch pounds. Now, if I remember correctly, it was section six. Oh, come on. Nope, oh, section six, there we go. This is the one we're looking for, two, four, zero, zero, zero. And that's our torque sequence. So we'll set that right here. Now, the first bolt is gonna be this one up here. Bring that to 190. Actually, I like to do a two step sequence. First, I bring them up to 150 all the way around. Number two is cross the head over here. Sorry if I'm not showing you guys real well here, but hard to shoot the camera and pay attention all at once. Bring that up to one. 50. Okay, and then we'll just continue all the way around the engine doing that until we get it all to 150. Then I'll bring it up to 190. Then the head will be torqued. And I'll let this sit overnight before before I run it because I want that Loctite. I want the Loctite in that thread insert to set up a little bit. I don't want to run it now, otherwise it'll pop it out and then, well, I'll be looking for another head. So we won't have that. Technically, I probably should bring it down to the house where it's warmer, let it sit overnight, but it should be fine. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish talking this, and I'll catch you later. Bye.